All right, we're getting serious here. The doctor's in, and I'm getting an exam, and we're using this gadget. This is what helps dermatologists detect skin cancer. Beaumont dermatologist Ann Hearn is here, and also we've got Dr. Kaiden, a Beaumont skin cancer, a, a cancer surgeon, and a melanoma expert answering questions in the chat room right now at myfoxdetroit.com. Okay, Dr. Hearn, I'm going to give you that back. What do we call this? This is called a dermatoscope. Okay, what does it do? It actually magnifies the moles, and it allows you to see through the top layer of the skin because it has a polarized lens. And go ahead, why don't you go ahead and get so started? I'm going to start. I always follow the same system for skin checks. What are you looking for, though? I'm looking for any irregularity in pigment, um, and actually I can see right through the top layer of the skin, so I can see really? most of these are freckles, All right. which is good. We'd rather have you have a freckle than a mole. So you have to look at every little spot? And I look at every, we try to look at every square inch of your skin. Really? Yes. That could take a while. <laughs> it does take a while. Um, I have two physician assistants who work with me, so they sometimes do this uh, pre-screenings, and so then I come and check the spots that are concerning. In this type of screening, so typically I would be in the doctor's office, be in a gown, fully undressed. Right. And, um, you and we look at one section at a time. So okay. we, I always start with the arms, and then I go to the face, the neck, and then I have one side of the body, the other side of the body. Have you flip, and then we do the other side of the okay. body. Okay. Now, many people say... Oh, that's a mole. Okay. <laughs> that okay. looks okay, though. But it looks fine. Yes, yeah, so it's very evenly pigmented, has um, just one color. So this is a healthy mole. It's a healthy mole. mole. Yes. See, that looks weird to me. It looks um, asymmet asymmetrical. Well, I already told uh, Dina earlier that it, she's probably at higher risk for skin cancer because she has so many spots. If you have more than 10 uh, moles on one arm, that puts you at higher risk for melanoma. Hmm. So, uh, right. but they all look good. Okay. Now, a lot of it is, this is, these are the result, these moles are the result of sun damage, right? Or is it genetics in some cases? It's genetics and then also um, even one sunburn can cause a, a proliferation of freckles and moles. All right. Um, go ahead and look if you want to yeah. look at some of these. Or do I my chin and women, this? unfortunately, get a lot of sun damage on their skin, on their chest, because the skin is so thin and it's so exposed. These pretty much are all freckles, so that is good. Okay. That makes me as a dermatologist happy. That makes me happy, too, <laughs> as a patient. Um, because you can treat them. <laughs> right. Can you do anything to remove these, all these they spots? They can. We have a, um, there are a number of lasers that are good for removal of brown spots. And that's yes. just cosmetic, though. It's just cosmetic. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I, I do want to talk about um, sunscreen because I, I know we talk about it a lot, but I, I, there is still, um, it seems to be a, a lack of um, people complying with there is. It, right? It's just inconvenient. So to be honest, the safest thing is to just wear as much clothing as possible. Now, do regular clothes provide SPF, some protection? If you hold your clothes up to light and you can see through it, then it is not providing full protection. So you ideally hold your clothing up to light, and if you can't see through it, then you have 100% protection. Um, if you can see through it um, and it has a rating of, say, SPF 50, then you should be okay. Okay, very yeah. good. All right, so... I'm looking at my skin here, and for people at home who are looking at their spots, um, it's, you said this was a healthy mole that I would never know that, that was healthy or not. But you really need to see a dermatologist. You ideally would see a dermatologist, but if you have more than 10 moles on your arm, I would get a skin check. That's a good, that's a good first indicator you need to get it checked. Mm -hmm. um, and then what about the moles that are very bumpy and raised off the skin? Are those particularly more dangerous or not? The good news is most raised moles are not dangerous. Not but dangerous. if a mole okay. starts out flat and then bumps up, that can be concerning. Sometimes it's normal maturation, but sometimes it is concerning. And then there are other more common skin cancers, basal cell cancer and squamous cell carcinoma, that are raised. Okay. So anything that's sore, bleeding, get it checked. So when you go out, let's say you're going out this weekend and you want to enjoy the sunshine because we waited a long time for it, yeah. um, you've got your sunscreen, you've got your hat. Tops of the ears is one of the most um, neglected areas, right? And for men are wearing their baseball caps and they, for, you know, you don't think about putting sunscreen on your ears. So it's very important to get the tops of your ears as well. All right, tops of your ears and lips we're talking about. Um, there's also cases of, of lip skin cancer mm -hmm. because that too goes unprotected. It does. And um, from years of being out golfing, boating, what have you, then you're going to get tons of sun damage on your lips. So it's good to wear an SPF uh, 30 plus chapstick as well. All right, good information. We'll be in the chat room uh, for a little bit more if you want to jump in and ask any questions you have about really skin questions in general um, at myfoxdetroit.com. So uh, guys, I got a good exam. Does anyone else want to step over and get a check? Yeah. <laughs> Not now. Thank you. No. <laughs> no. You'll pass. Okay. We appreciate